Good morning. Well, sort of morning. Welcome back to my video journal on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. This is Fawn Hollow. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Now, I'm not exactly sure what has to happen today. I don't think anything in particular, so let's just go about our business as usual and we'll see what happens. I do need to check turnip prices now. I need only to remember to do that each day. Here we go, Isabel. Good morning, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 11.29am on Monday, March 30th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope the entire island joins me in giving our guests a warm welcome. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. A visitor, eh? Let's see who it is. To be honest, I kind of forgot we had a campsite. And Benedict did bring up to me that I put the campsite on an island so the visitor can't actually leave, but... Oh well. <laughs> so let's just quickly put this stuff away. Uh, to the stereo. Pardon? Oh, I haven't opened it yet, of course. <laughs> We can see what the sporty sky looks like. Doesn't look as good as the flare skirt. So let's leave it at that. Let's stop having this very cursed music we've got. Um, let's put that in storage. Let's put the fish bait in storage. And let's take out the things that we usually carry. Such as this. Wait, what woods do we normally carry? Softwood, stone, clay. Running out of softwood, apparently. Okay, well, let's go about our day. Let's see we, what we got in store. A lot of pansies, not gonna lie. Ooh, much. Many more orange pansies. Just chilling out here, Axel. Yo, been, you've been training wonk. Let's talk. Don't forget to cool down after a workout. You don't want to overheat. Plus, it helps build up even more muscle. How about you, Silvana? So happy to see you, Hubbub. What's the latest? They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan. But they also say plans are fool's errands, so... Wise words, wise words. I can't disagree. There's our black cosmos. Got some more orange cosmos growing. Let's see who's visiting our campsite for today. Excuse me, I wanna vault over. Let's welcome them to Fawn Hollow. Who's it gonna be? Who are you? Hippo, Hippo. Buongiorno. My name's Hippo. <laughs> Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured, yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're going to enjoy having me here. My word, you are an interesting character. Natch, I've gotten really used to Fawn Hollow life. I don't even want to go home, and I have 484 thread count sheets on my bed there. I don't particularly want to invite you. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. There's just one little thing. I'd hate to be for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with like with VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know this is legit. <coughs> sure thing. Guten Tag, my fate is in your hands, haha. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I don't really want to invite you. <laughs> that sounds so harsh, but you very much are an interesting character design. I'll take these cherries here so we can plant some more cherries as well around the island. And also noted that as soon as you talk to someone apparently in the camp, they decide that you they should be invited. So good to know, good to know. <clears throat> so we take up a fossil. Let's look around for more. Here's another one. Another one. Wow. 
So from reading what we have to do is we need to invite some more pillagers to the island. About 7 to 10 is what we need to progress to the next stage of KK Slider, um, KK Slider's concert. We currently have how many? Five villagers, I think. And I believe we can also see on the Nook Mars Island. Oh, there's a bell tree here. <laughs> I forgot I planted this. We can also find villagers on Nook Mars Island Islands to invite. So maybe we'll be doing a little bit of that. Uh, one of these was going to be a cherry tree. I don't remember which one. I'll pick this weed. I see if I goes apples, oranges. Oh, this was meant to be a cherry tree. That's what I put stuff there for. <laughs> so let's plant another cherry. Oh, not camera. Let's see what Nook Mars plus missions we've got. Don't know, but fruit roots. Twins of a half. Oh, it's actually nearly 12. I should go very quickly check on turnip prices see if there's anything good this is a very inconvenient tree not gonna lie it's a hot item birdhouse Hello, hello. Turn it prices. 144 bells. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll hold out a little bit. Um, I guess I could sell this sea bass I'm holding my inventory. In Benny's Island at 75. How much did I buy them for? I forgot. Nin 96 or so. <clears throat> so I'd like to, like, like to at least double it, hopefully. <laughs> but we'll have to see how it shakes out. Oh. Let us plant another bell tree. Um, oh yeah, we need to hit some rocks as well. <clears throat> I suppose we should just hit more rocks as well than I've been doing because we still need to get some gold. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Chop some wood as well. Sell some fruit. Alright. It's all doable. All doable. New windflowers. Ooh, pink windflowers. Um, let's replace this tree with a cherry tree. Let's move this over here. And put that away. I didn't even equip it, which was the whole point, but there we go. over here um got some bamboo shoots growing that's always nice anything going on with the beach no gulliver that i can see i'd assume he wouldn't spawn this far up but there's a message in a bottle that's always something
They seem to be best friend. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. Uh, I never cease to amaze myself, and now you and only you get to reap the benefits of my brilliance. Go ahead and give it a try. A wooden bucket. <laughs> Um, let's replace this tree, perhaps with a cherry tree. And I also need to harvest some more wood. I didn't know I was running out of softwood and hardwood to be honest. Okay, so we need to build a birdhouse. Sending fruit we can do from Nukmao Islands and then maybe we'll just buy some more stuff that we see. Oh, another pink cosmos screw here. could do is we could also check out the ramp that we built yesterday as well and today I'm planning to build another bridge up on that top area and then I think we'll start working on our house again I mean we could build another ramp on this side but I'm not sure I, I, don't, I don't think I want to do it until I can start terraforming a bit so we can straighten out this bit because I want a horizontal ramp here on this side at least at least I think I do <laughs> So that will have to wait a little bit. But look at this, easy access now. I suppose this is a little bit in the way. Maybe I should move this. Maybe I should move all of these, to be honest. These are really in the way. I'd much rather have a garden outside than this stuff. So let's put these away in storage for now. While I still figure out what I'm doing with my decorations and all that. Put the golden nugget away as well. It's, it's not what I want to do. There we go. And let us find more rocks. Look, it's convenient little ramp. It gives us access to Delhi and Silvana now. In terms of our long-term goals, well not long-term goals, our more immediate-term goals I suppose, Me medium-term goals. We want to try and go to some Nook Mile Islands and try and find some new villages I think. Although I don't need to, I don't know if I need to t talk to Tom Nook about building more land plots before that's even doable. Because it's possible they won't even show up yet. I'm not certain. Because as, as great as, I can't remember his name, the guy who moved into the camp today is, don't super <laughs> care for him as much as maybe others might. Very polite way of putting it, I suppose. So let's have a look around. Honestly, I should just be setting these, these fruit trees, shouldn't I? I originally said I was going to do the ones from the islands, but I also realised there's a good chance we won't find any from the islands. Did I dig up four fossils? 
That's four fossils. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, let me just get a bit more fruit. I think there's an orange tree over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And we can make a shovel. Let's give a little visit to Flo while we're here. And then we'll sell some things. Assess some fossils. Water some flowers. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is slowly dying. Got a groove going now, cha. Standing in rock, cha. What are you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out, I'm making a dart with a mosaic wall. This DIY stuff takes a major elbow grease, so I like to go all in on it. So worth the effort though. You want to give it a whirl? Making a dark wooden mosaic wall? I, I don't know what she said. I can show you if you want. Definitely, let's do it. I thought you say that. Alright, here's the recipe. Go study up. I can't wait to see how yours comes out. It's nothing like building something with your own hands. Well, let's learn this then. Ah, huh, okay. So my inventory is super messed up right now. What, what never happened to it? Everything is all over the place. No, that's not what I meant to do, Miss Lightus. There we go. I'm holding nine fruit, so we need to pick one more fruit. Goodbye, Flo. I also need to make a shovel. Fruit, fruit, fruit. There's some fruit. Perfect. Let's have a chat with Blabbers to get some fossils assessed. Hello, Blabbers. Would you care to assess some fossils for me? Of course, make a donation of what we have. Oh, Spino, Terra. This is definitely a new one. I'm trying to think of a pterodactyl is new as well. Please do tell me about Archelon. Ah, uh, yes, Archelon. It was a sort of huge sea turtle, the largest thus far found, if you want to know. They were very sizable, some 13 feet long with a shell the size of a small car, if you're into that sort of thing. They likely ate seaweed, shrimp, octopus, and possibly ammonites, given the era involved. It seems certain giant turtles had to be prima donnas and eat some of our oldest life forms on the earth. And that's all I had to say about that. Thank you, Blabbers. Let's make a donation of... I, I, I really can't remember if this is new or not. I think it's not new, but we might as well check. And when, when I mean new, I mean... We've donated a pterodactyl before part. So then, the mighty ter pteranodon, among the very large animals ever to fly, they were role models to us all. With a wingspan of over 23 feet in some cases, I find it simply stunning that they ever did more than glide. But fly they did, soaring dynamically and dramatically over land and sea. I wish I could have seen it. Honestly, I can't even remember if we'd seen that dialogue before. Let's donate this Spino Skull as well. This one I think we have done before, but we might as well just double check. Ah uh, yes, the Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous dinosaur roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike his more famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seems to have spent a great deal of time in water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I'm simply relieved that I didn't, it did not seek flying prey. Ah. Uh, yeah, we did that one before. Oh well. It's always good talking to Blavers again. Let us... What were we doing? Sell some things. We also need to make a birdhouse, if we can. We also need to hit those rocks. And that rock. 
I should probably move this workbench now to instead of being behind a house, but you know. Sometimes it's just there. Where's a bird house? There it is. And let's hit some oh, I need to make a shovel. <laughs> I completely forgot. Shovel, shovel, there's a shovel. Oh, it's Daddy. Morning, Daddy. What's up, Daddy? Where are you? There you are. Hi, it's me, Daddy. Nice chat. I love long walks. They keep your feet entertained. Alright, thanks for that. I, I suppose. Someone's being very happy over here. Who is it? Who is it? Who knows? Let's hit this rock then. Or these rocks. One of these is likely the money rock. Not this one, no. Not this one either. Must be the puddles rocking. Maybe I should start naming these rocks. These can be the twin rocks. That one up there for puddles rock. What other rocks are there? There's one south of a town hall. So I guess that's a plaza rock. There's one up there on the cliff in Savannah, so that can be Savannah's rock. What? I already hit this one. Did I not hit the plaza rock? Do I have another rock in this town? I think I have another rock in this town. I don't know where it is though. Off to my head at least. I very much thought I hit this rock already. I did. What other rock is there in this town? Pick up the sticks. Is that one on that side of a... I should really... Oh, I should really know where the rocks are. I, I just had a sudden like flash of memory where I feel like there was a rock that spawned in a couple of days ago and I was like, wow, I didn't expect a rock to be here. But I don't remember where that was. So I have a quick scan around looking for it. It wasn't up here, was it? We've hit Sylvana's rock. Why do I want to put a bridge anyway? Maybe I want to put it here so it goes directly into Sylvana's house. Maybe I want to put it on this side, I'm not really sure. I think having it close by might be better. Something here. Directly in Sylvanas house makes it seem very central. Um, there is not a rock I can see over here. Uh, maybe we should build a ramp on this side as well. I'm not certain. Where is this rock? Oh, here it is. Float rock. <laughs> these names aren't going to make any more sense when if these people ever move out. So. <laughs> there we go. So let's build a bridge first. Let's go into the cliffs is not quite as important yet until 
We get a few more people. Where am I going? To the town hall. Or the resident services building, I suppose. Morning, you two. Let's do some nook shopping. See if there's anything good to purchase. Imperial KK. Nothing off here. Let's talk to Nook. Get some stuff build, built. How is your book so dusty, Isabel? Isabel mentioned in today's broadcast, but today we have a first guest over at our campsite. If you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check out check in on our guest. And if you get an opening, try talking him into moving to Fawn Hollow. He wants to live here. He done it, so this means you have no time to waste. And my next course of action will be building a new home. Now, dear, since you closed the deal of our visitor, you should be one to pick the location for a new ho new home. Leave it to me. You need a house and kids set aside for plot, so I'll give you that for now. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be Animal Crossing without having some villages you don't want in your town, so. <laughs> but, you know, that's just a natural law of things. <clears throat> Sometimes people are moving and they all surprise you because you shouldn't judge a book by a cover, that sort of thing. And I'm being very judgmental right now. So, where are we going to put? I can't remember this guy's name's how like Bruso. We're going to put it over here, I think. Somewhere. Maybe like here is not a bad spot. Got like a cliffside view. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's actually way smaller than I thought. Hold on. You can move it over slightly. Yeah, this is the spot. Hippo. That was it. <laughs> So corny, so cheesy. Okay, well hopefully... Hippo, I assume, is either cranky or smug. I couldn't really tell. But hopefully we can find some good sneaky villagers. That I like. So you never know. Villagers might surprise you. With forming bonds. Well, did you find a place for us to build a new home? I found a place. Oh, fine news indeed. We don't want to keep our customer waiting, so I'll proceed with construction at supersonic speed. We want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible, after all. Hmm. This has got me thinking, but we can't predict when someone will want to move here. But scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too haphazard a way of doing business. Ah, yes, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. Dear, I do hope I can count on your help again. Do I need to build a plot? To invite someone from the island? That's all to ceremony for something. Over ramp, of course. I sure am. Let's do it. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honouring Fawn Hollow's brand new incline. Yay! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Fawn Hollow is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes, I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve the overall quality of our precious island. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing this incline built. I'm talking about resident rep, Deer. Anything to add? Woo! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt encouraging sentiments there, Deer. Everyone, please get ready to bring to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. And those wishing to take a photo, we should press whatever button that's called. Hooray! Ching. Ceremony done. I'm gonna build a bridge just at the end of this episode. And then we'll figure out what's happening next episode. 
probably selling stuff and going to Nookmar Island. I'll find out in the break if we need to build some plots to invite some people over before we go on the islands to see them. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, let's talk infrastructure. Let's add bridges. Let's build a bridge. Just a casual log bridge. Yes, please. Goodbye, Nick. We'll go put it down where we discussed. Somewhere near Savannah's house. Maybe over here? Maybe over here. I don't want it directly over this waterfall. So I think here is where I thought was decent. Let me imagine it first. Yeah, sure. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. Hello Lloyd, I have a lot of money. Sure, I'll help. As much as possible. Here you go. All right. Now we've got all the bridges and ramps we need. That's about gonna wrap us up. Oh, actually no, you know what? Let's quickly go sell some stuff at Nook's Cranny first. <laughs> I forgot that was something I meant to do like way at the start of the episode. I mean, I'll take the time to water and reorganize the flowers between the episodes. And then we'll see what happens from there. One of the turnip prices quickly because it's just turned 1201 126 oh no it's fallen so this 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 birdhouse this this yep sold all right so it's been day what day are we on day 11 in fawn hollow and my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling, and if you've come this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then.